Hey, I'm Rhonda. Nice Rhonda, to meet you. Rhonda, how you doing? My name is Showtime. Showtime. They call me that because I bring a show car to your car show. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Did you hear that, everybody? All right, Mr. Showtime, what have you got here with us today? All right, I got a 1968 Buick Skylark. I show you how you can take an original 68, customize it, put it all back to original, and never cut the car. Watch this. Show me. Showtime. Showtime. I am excited, everybody. I don't know about you lot, but... I mean, the spider just looks beautiful. Give me the spider now. Showtime! The show is in the back. I'm going to play a little music for you. I'm going to turn on my phone as well, so give me one moment. Okay. How y'all doing? My name is Showtime and it's Car Show. You got to bring a first aid kit, fire extinguisher, and a spare tire. Here we go. Never seen in the convertible before. Never cut your car. All of this is wood. All is wood. You can take it all out and got your original trunk. Those are 10 inch speakers. Watch this. Here we go. Showtime. If you've seen this before, let me know. This is not done by hydraulics. This is done by actuators. Actuators are very skinny and very strong. The reason I got the tire coming out slow is because you don't burn out your actuators. By the time the crowd comes, it comes up, it's going to stop, then I had to create something else. Watch this. As you rise right now, and with a convertible boule, I didn't have much room, and it almost hit. Just made it. Wow. Wow. I'm going to ask this young man while he's taping, press that viewer button while you're on camera. Never seen in a Woo, Check that out. And it goes down spinning just know, like that. Tell me if you've seen it before. <laughs> now, I want everybody to know if you see how those actuators are working, there's a board in there. Very, very complex board. You see how the actuators go up and down? One is going down and one brings up. And that's how it works. But you got to come to my shop to get it done. <laughs> oh, God, it's really and it's not over. Keep your phone on. Grand finale, watch this. As that tire go down. You wanna stop this? Watch this, pay attention. Here we go. Follow me slowly, follow me slowly. Watch the back seat of my car. Flat screen TV. Woo! Ah, <laughs> oh, you got you this now. Come on, cheers. <laughs> I'm gonna mute it and show you how you can take this whole unit out, put your original back seat in. Never cut your car. There's a marble steering wheel, original. You take the one boat, put your original steering wheel. Original dashboard, original radio. I built the console. You never cut your car. Let's go to the front. Here Hold we go. Hold on, Showtime. Before you do that, let me get in there and check out the screen. All right, check out the screen there. i got to make sure if it's real or not, you know? You got to make sure it's real. <laughs> do a candy camera. Look at that. All right. Check this out. Watch this. You ready for it to go down? Bingo. You can sit back there, you don't even know the TV's back there. All right? Check this out, marble steering wheel. Marble steering wheel. Built the console, have your original dashboard in the original radio. So as you drive down the road, you drive it everywhere. Wheel, 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 TV. Yep. We will go to the front. The front, I want somebody to tap the glass. This is real tipping glass. The same glass that's on your oven. You have to take the heat. So if anything happened, it's just gonna shatter. Two bolts here, two bolts here, put a new glass in. Let's change the hood. Two bolts there, two bolts, take the hood off with your original hood. Never cut the car. Here we go. Buick didn't make a chrome grill, they made a plastic grill. Same two bolts, plug and play. Five and three quarter headlights. Take the original out, put the original back in. Original engine. 350 original engine. And there's your Buick Skylark, all custom, all to original. I drive it, but people always looking on the road. Grand finale, watch your ears, watch your ears, watch your ears. <laughs> That's to keep them away from me. My name is Showtime. My next show is in 20 minutes. Spread the word. <laughs> she loved it. <laughs> of course I loved it. How could you not love it? Like, honestly. I didn't get Showtime to come and join me on all my interviews. Alright, well, get over here. With that kind of a performance, let's hear about your shop, mate. Huh? Tell me about your shop. Hold on, alright. My shop. We 
Give it up. Look at New York 61 McGinnis Boulevard, All Borough Customs. There's a partner there. His name is Jack and Leo. My name is Lo. If you've never remember Lo Jack, you can't forget. Look us up. We're on Yelp. 61 McGinnis Boulevard, All Borough Customs. We do all kind of custom stuff that you see here. Give us a call. Tell them you met Showtime. And he brings a show cup to your car show. God okay. bless. Awesome stuff. Thank you, my love. Absolutely I love it. I want to meet you now. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> Hot Wheels. Thousand Hot Wheels. Yeah, about nine and change. Yeah, 900 and change. I hope you all enjoyed that by Showtime. Of course, <laughs> Lou is here. And he's also part of the legendary muscle cars. Yes. Along with, so what's your name? Jersey John. Jersey John. <laughs> and I'm Robert Drawbridge. Robert, nice to meet you all. Uh, right. You guys do this big car class of all yeah. different hot rods. And we go to the car show to do that. Hot wheels to the kids. Hot wheels to the kids. Love it's that. a buying hobby and maybe, you know, we'll uh, keep the kid on the straight and narrow to the future of life, you know. And just the smiles and excitement, even from the parents. You know, it's just a great feeling. Love that. Absolutely love that. Really, really great show. So how long have you all been coming here to Secrets? First time for me. How do you feel about it? What do you like about it? Coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not leaving. I'm going to be That's what you wanted. after dinner. <laughs> what we like about Secrets, because of the name, it's a secret. But when you come here, it's no longer a secret. There you go. We've been, <laughs> we've been coming for a long time. Yeah. Legendary Bus has been coming to Ocean City Car Show, not only in May, but also in October. I actually come in October, and I'm indoor in the convention center. Seven for the whole state. We've been coming over 15 years. Nice, nice. Now let's. Now that I have a moment and the show has stopped, I do want to ask you, Lou, where was the inspiration for yourself? Obviously, you've got a business and you're promoting it, which is absolutely awesome because we love seeing that. And I've, I've seen the low riders and seen some of those like that. hydraulics, and, like and that. That, that group would absolutely love that. Uh, well, listen, I'm here to do shows. That's why they call me Showtime. Exactly. And you you do call such a me and time. I bring the show car to your car show. Where did it start for you, mate? You're well, on Rana's radar. We're interested in history, so. Well, it, it's, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm an old man right now. No, it started for me when I was a kid. Uh, I grew up, my uh, grandfather was into cars. I actually graduated automotive high school. I went from body work and mechanic, and I wound up doing neat. I wound up going to Wall Street being a stockbroker. But ever since then, my first car was the Cover Supreme, okay. which I still have today. I owned it for 38 years. Wow. It's nice. in mint condition. Nice. And most of my plates, if you see in your car own, it'll have the number and mint. So it'll be 68 mint, 08 mint. You like the original mint. cars, which original is why. <laughs> yes. Now, my understanding is you love the original cars. You know, people want to customize it, but you don't want them cutting that metal. No cutting. You don't have to cut. You can be creative without cutting. Can anybody come to my shop? Because this man, he what likes his original. Cut. There you go. Yeah, you, you can do you so want. many creative things. As I just showed through my presentation and didn't cut one thing. You can also get an extra part. Like that's an extra hood. Keep your original hood, your original seat. You can alternate things and still bring it back to original, but do not cut the metal. When you do, it takes all the value from the car. There you go. I think that's something we know as well. Yes. Awesome stuff, you lot. Thank you. And I'm sure we're going to see more of legendary muscle cars. Oh, yes, will. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks. All right, everybody. Like I said, I'm here now at Secrets Bar and Grill, which is one of the satellite shows. That's what's happening here. I'm getting my bearing straight, but this right here has been put on by R&M Performance. So let's find out a little bit more. Matt, welcome again to the channel. How's it going? Going good. It's been a good day. It's been a good day. Let's move over this way. Look at the trooper in. This is a great turnout. Oh yeah. And I heard it was even better last night when you had the kickoff party. Yeah, last night we had, uh, I'd say about 100 cars, so. 100 cars. Yeah. Everyone's yes. just here having a great time. You've got music as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got the classics playing. Uh, we're here until seven. We're gonna be doing the awards at seven. Okay. Uh, but after that, everybody can go inside and have a good time in Secrets. Well, you guys have to check out the great, shop tour that we did at r &M Performance and that's where I learned that this has been going on for 13 years. Yep, yep. This uh, this actually started uh, right over there yep. by the other sign and it was me and my dad in a pop-up tent. That was it? That was it. No music, no trophies. <laughs> you must be very charismatic or you've got great people <laughs> skills. Uh, uh, How did it? you turn that into this? Well, it's really the, the people, the people. 
that we'd get 10 cars, then we got 30 cars, we got 60 cars, 100 cars. We've had 200 cars. But they're working on the back parking lot right now. So, okay. Um, so hopefully in October for the next show, yep. we'll have the full lot. So you'll be able to take in more yeah. cars in yeah. as well. That, that's the plan because it gets a little dusty and the weather's been a little iffy. But, uh, but again, we're, we're just appreciative of Secrets that for 13 years they've opened up their parking lot to us and allowed cruisers and car guys like, and girls like us. Yep. It's just... Like us? Yeah, so, <laughs> Absolutely. You know what? I was looking and checking out the tent you've got back there. There are so many awards and trophies. Okay. Tell me a little bit about that. What awards are you giving out today? Uh, well, we've got 25 trophies that we bring and then uh, Ocean City gives us six and then we'll have one best of show. Okay. Uh, but we don't really have any set limits. We, um, if it's a cool car and we appreciate the work, you have a chance to win. Love that because you'll be able to see the love that somebody has for their car. Yes. Yep. It's not just about how much money they put in, but more about how much they love I it. I mean, you could have a really cool built golf cart that has a 572 motor in it, you know, if it's good. Just you see the pride in the work. Yeah. You got a chance at our show. So. Love that. Well, you guys, you have to check this out. It's been going for 13 years and I'm sure it's going to continue on for another 13 years. I know that the people are enjoying it. They're not bothered by the little sprinkling of rain oh, that yeah. we're feeling now. <laughs> Doesn't bother them. Doesn't bother them. And what awesome location. You've got bars and restaurants all around you so they can park and just go and grab a beat and yeah. have a bite. Bars, cars, beaches. Oh, and the so, beach is right across yeah, from us, everyone. So. Let me show you exactly where I am standing right now. This is where we are. And the awesome thing is, you know, you can just walk up here and actually see the cruisers going up and down as well. But this is pretty fun, so I'm excited. I'm gonna go and check out some more of the cars and get some interviews. One of the satellite shows. Now I've been to one of the satellite there shows here go. in Maryland. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them, so. I'm excited. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, no problem. No Appreciate problem. it. Look who rolled in as me and Matt were just finishing our interview. Hey, Matt, so who have you got here now? I've got my daughter, Ella. And Ella? She, she just cruised in on her uh, classic pedal car here. And uh, this is actually uh, Courteous of Meredith um, from Cruising. So this actually went through her daughters. Oh, she passed it on to us. I love that. You know, we did have a chat with Meredith, everybody. <laughs> of the show get over here and don't hide there come on <laughs> you know matt you weren't kidding when you said that absolute car family this is how all of this started this is how r m started as well and now you've got your daughter in a bush car as well like honestly <laughs> you guys awesome. what do you see the future for her <laughs> Uh, I love putting people on the spot. <laughs> well, she's definitely going to be cruising around in something cool. So she doesn't have a choice there. So, but she already loves it. I mean, she's got a little power car at home. She's got this. You can't keep her out of it. So. Wow, let's, let's see Ella inside it. Can we do that? I absolutely love this, you guys. Often at the shows, I do see kids on their little paddle cars, but I'm too afraid to go up in case parents don't want me filming them. No, you're fine. But now this is super cool. Check this out. Hey! Hey, darling! She just gave us a thumbs up! Oh, thumbs up. <laughs> She's adorable, honestly. Look at Aww! <laughs> we know she's a daddy's girl! Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> This is so cool, you know. This has been going on for so long and now we can... The awesome thing is that these car people are great when it comes to making connections and friends at the shows. Oh, yeah. They're going to see Ella grow up oh, yeah. right here oh, at yeah. Secrets, right? Yep. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Oh, thank you for letting me film her. You're very welcome. Thanks, guys. And then you got to do a fried butter butter, butter and jelly sandwich. A fried peanut oh, butter yeah. and jelly? Yeah. All right. And a fried bologna sandwich. Oh, We're not talking cars anymore, everybody. We're talking about veggie mark. Well, food goes with cars, and cars go with food. There you go. That's Especially good. classic cars. All right, so introduce yourself first. I'm Tyler from New Jersey. How long have you been coming here to Secrets? Oh, at least six, seven years. 
romantic seven years i mean this place is definitely happening oh yeah just wish the weather was better and it would be even more happening that's what i'm saying it's my oh, first time here right. and i can see <laughs> i can oh, see all like, the oh, oh yeah and definitely. this is it looks good could you man? imagine it's if the sun was up oh, oh man you wouldn't be able to get I, in I, here. I, I, so actually, the, this weather is actually nice because I, I it keeps the, the crowd side. down and it's not too busy. Like, Otherwise, you, 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 you wouldn't be able to move around here. Yeah. yeah. So, like, All right. It's good. Well, now that we've sorted that out. Yes. Peanut butter and jelly. What's up with that? Because I know Americans oh, love it. Oh, it's an American <laughs> classic. Yeah, you got to try it. It's good. PB and J. I grew up yeah. seeing that in movies and in cartoons. You know? put a banana on it. He wants to put a banana on top of peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and a banana. Or it depends on the type of jelly you like. You like Reese's peanut butter, oh, strawberry. Who does love Reese's peanut butter? Oh yeah. Yeah, I can have that, and I love peanuts, and I, I do like peanut butter, only with oranges. <laughs> <laughs> only with oranges. But you guys look like you have a fabulous time. Oh yeah, always. always. Oh. No matter always. what the weather is, you gotta have enjoy yourself. Oh, 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 you only get one oh, oh, oh. shot at this lake. You gotta live it to the fullest. Yeah. Did you hear that, everybody? You only get one shot. So if you're at home, get up and come to a car yep. show. Who is this? Don't know. So can I just say this, you're standing here in front of a beautiful Chevy, you've got a beautiful Cadillac, complete restaurant model, whatever's happening there. None of these cars belong to you. You've got the shade as well. Mine's over there, the yellow You're just smart, aren't you? Mine's over there. <laughs> the I can see it from here, the yellow one. All yellow. Here you go, right Is that there. the Ford? 39 Ford. 39 Ford. Okay. Tell your cars. Well, come over here and tell us what you've got. Uh. Exactly, so let's go look at it up close. All right. It's got shorts on. You've got shorts on. <laughs> and your name? Rana. Rana, Tyler. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Tyler. You're on Rana's radar. And what we do here is we look at classic cars. We cover car shows nice. as well as interviews. And right now we're headed to do an interview with your awesome classic Ford. This was uh, a lifelong dream of mine since I was in high school. And I finally found one back in this in 2019. And uh, I've done some work to it, but uh, so, yeah, I love the car. I, I, it's, me and the car are like one. Just it, it's hard to explain, but so it's a little dirty right now because of the weather. But it's definitely uh, well. That's not a 350 Chevy. Yes, it is. Is it? Yep. Nice. You know your cars. <laughs> I do nice. know my cars, but you've dressed it up a little bit oh, as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot of elbow grease. You it had doesn't me there a little bit, but. So. What did you start off with? Let's um, start from the beginning. I mean, I'm loving the color and you've got Hot Wheels. So talk to me. Yeah. So what our club does, Legendary, we uh, we don't get donations of Hot Wheel cars and we give them out to the kids wherever we go. So uh, my buddy John over there, you should go talk to uh, with the with the convertible uh, Chevelle. Um, well, you know, somebody mentioned your club to me today. Yes. The show organizers. And they said, oh. you know, Legendary Muscle Cars is an awesome club. Oh, yeah. And they're going to talk to you about getting me on the parade with a bunch of your convertibles. Oh, then you got to come over here and I'll introduce <laughs> you. You never know what I find. I was supposed to have my convertible cutlass here, but I just couldn't get it done in time. So is it so. mainly convertibles? Tell me about the club. It's everything. Every type of car you can think of from, you know, they're all classics or antiques. They're great boot bunch of guys you got guy members from Jersey guys from New York there's guys from Georgia there's guys in Florida we Love got that. about 125 or so 130 members and you collect Hot Wheels and then you give them out to kids where do you give them out to kids um, anywhere we go if a car shows like this kids walking by you know we hand them out to them when we're on the boardwalk tomorrow we'll be handing them out along with some of our custom flags that do we I had get made. to help you hand out sure Hot Wheels? yeah oh yeah definitely <laughs> Definitely. Uh, like I said, the guys over there, there's a couple of us that have convertibles and if the weather's supposed to be decent tomorrow, they'll have their top down and be okay. handing out the cars. But I, I gave out a lot today. I, I had a whole bin on my front seat and I gave out almost all of them. Nice. We'll so. definitely have a chat with them. But oh, coming yeah. back here to your Ford now, did you do the restoration yourself? No, a lot of it was done. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, kind of on the other side of turning wrenches I, I, I don't mind doing the minor stuff but the days of working on them I'm not getting any younger so 
I'd rather enjoy driving them yep. than working on them more. Fair enough. But I can do it, you know, my fair share, and you know, between three cars, I do my fair share. But I know when to, I know when to reach out for help. <laughs> That's also always a very good point. Now, Kyle, yeah. this was a dream of yours. Yes, since I was in high school. Since you were in high school, tell me about that. I just, I saw uh, Willie's coupe that a guy used to drive to high school. Didn't realize the value of that car back then. This yep. was in the 80s. And uh, I said, someday I'm going to get one of them. And then I would see them in different movies. And said, kept saying, someday, someday, someday. And then finally I stumbled across this. And uh, How long and, ago? Uh, it was around 2019. Okay. I finally found one. It was a long there, time that you were yeah. searching. Oh, yeah. Good so I you. traded my, I had another car and I traded it for this and bought this and then I had to do some work to it, but not a lot. So, um, and now I, I enjoy it as much as I can. Good for you. I'm happy for you. It took a <laughs> while you. to get your dream. Oh yeah. But you got it nonetheless. Good things take time. Exactly. It's and insane. you ride this, you drive it. Oh yeah. Can I open it? Yeah, yeah sure. Look at all the hot wheels and the interiors are all done up as well. Oh yeah. Nah, this is super nice. cool. Love it. Wow, beautiful. Look at this, everybody. It's definitely going to draw your attention as it creeps down the road. That's what I'm going to say, because it's going to creep down. Greg, your Cadillac is beautiful. Thank you. I really appreciate it. How long have you had it for? Uh, only about six months. I have, to, I have this one a short time. It's brand new. It's brand new. It, I, I had it in the body shop. I just gave it a whole new brand new paint job. I had a flat back, flat black, so I wanted to murder it out, shave the handles off, make it as sleek as possible. Um, just give it a real slick look. What did you give to the body shop? How body bad? It, yeah. It wasn't bad. The body was pretty straight. They made it obviously a lot better. So I gave them a good, I gave them good bones to begin with. They had it for about six months. They were working on it. Okay. I have ten coats of black paint on there and ten coats of clear on top of that. Ten coats. Ten coats. So ten and ten. I'm oh, sorry, eight coats and eight coats. Yeah. And they they wet sanded about five times. There's one more wet sand to go to bring out the luster. Wow. Why the Cadillac for you out of all the cars that you could have had? I'm a big guy, so I like the Cadillacs. I, I got a couple of '76 Eldorados. This one I like, it's just bigger. I just love the ride of the Cadillac. I just, the, the classiness of the Cadillac. Love it. The pal's over there, his is really beautiful. I know you got that earlier. That oh, gorgeous. yes. Who, whose gorgeous. is that? Do you know that one? No, I just, I just met him today. He came okay. from Florida. Gorgeous. Oh, he's got the window open and oh. it's starting to rain. I'm exactly. getting worried for him, but this is beautiful. It's got a stance all on its own, everybody. Love it. We're here still at Secrets, one of the satellite shows that happens within Ocean City, cruising Ocean City. Love it. Hey, Greg, thank you so much. Tri fives are one of those cars that anytime you see it at a car show, it just stands out. It's just, yeah. I don't care how many they are, they just, they, you just fall in love with them. Absolutely. What's yeah. your name? Christina. 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 This is yours, obviously. Yes, ma'am. Otherwise, have you been here before to Secrets? We've been here for 15 years, coming for 15. We do both of the car shows. We do the May and the October. Yeah. Okay. And we love R and M. We yeah, they do put on a good show. So yeah. That's what I keep hearing. So I thought, <laughs> let's go around and let's chat to a few people who've been coming here for a long time. Oh yeah. What is it about this satellite show that you love the most? Everyone knows everybody. It's a commodity. It's like the kickoff show last night. Everyone that's gotten into town, they all see each other. It's like a big reunion from everybody from all the states and everything. It's really good. And that's why it's been going on for so many that's years. That's right, yeah. They've got great music and awards are happening as well. So. Yes, ma'am, yeah. But you've got yourself a beautiful car. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Okay, thanks. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, this is beautiful. Gorgeous, right? 
This is Wait, just. This is in your Buick. Who's is it? That's what, that's he just. Oh, the gal. Oh, I thought that was the Buick. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, dude, I like this one. That one over there. Which one? Oh, I haven't even seen that. What's <laughs> that? All right, everybody, you know I love the rat rods, especially when they've been so chopped. I mean, this is a big chop we're looking at here. Dan, how's it going? Good. Talk to me. What did you start off with and what did you do? It's a 33 Ford that was found in Wyoming, and it was a cattle ranch truck, so I kept it. Uh, I think I'm the third guy to work on it, and the shotgun that's on the hood support that's a shotgun found, yeah, it's a double barrel shotgun that was found under the seat so i finished it off with some barbed wire out of wyoming and the cranks original that's uh to start the engine originally not now and also to take the wheels off so it was a dual purpose tool back in 33. did you buy the cattle ranch truck just for this reason uh it was started by some guys in california and I kind of finished it off. That's the company that had it. So it's like 91 years old. Wow. That's the fuel tank, the Jerry tank. Is uh, I got that out of Europe, and it's an uh, you know authentic 19 well World War II wow. fuel tank. Here's my fuel gauge. <laughs> <laughs> and the other side is an American Jerry can. Uh, that is the muffler. The muffler, so I, okay. Yeah, so that's the muffler on this side. This is what I yeah, love I can, and that draws me. I can quiet it up by putting the lid on if I want. This is awesome. Watch your back. Yeah. The thing about the rat rods is the creativity behind it, the recycling that happens here. And of course, I mean, you've got some nitrous tanks here? Yeah. So it's each, it's a four corner air bag and it's bag on bar suspension back here and then it's four corner air bag and each bag has its own uh, regulator so I can regulate the pressure and ride around at two inches where if I see a curb I can pop it up to four inches to go over the curb or whatever. And the nitrous I have unhooked now to be legal because Maryland would have a fit uh, <laughs> with the hitting the button on the steering wheel. Oh goodness, that's why you can hide it, you know, you've got the bed there. Did yeah, you have yeah. to make a custom frame for this? Uh, it is, it's mostly custom, yes. The part of it's uh, junkyard frame rails, and then the front is uh, custom A-arms to drop it. Because of the rain, everybody, I put my GoPro away, so I'm using my phone. Hopefully I'm not moving around too much, but let's have a look at the, a the arms here. And what about the engine? Yeah, I the engine is practically on the floor right now because all the air is out. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a uh, 22 RE Toyota, five speed, and I'm setting it up to uh, do uh, autocross. So that's my end game is to not be competitive, but to have fun with it. Okay. Sliding around some turns and be a little crazy. <laughs> they right. actually have something at Dover in a couple of weeks from now. The good guys are coming to Dover. Right. Yes. Right. So I want to do the autocross at Dover and see how I do. But I and Dan finally asked me if I want to have a seat. And of course my answer is yes. All right, so let's go in. Why don't you go on the other side? And then that way you can tell me or you can okay, stay right yeah, here, yeah. whatever's easier. And let's find out what's going on on the inside of this. Beautiful very creative rat rod and how am i going to get in i'm practically already on my knees check this out oh let me get my hand out of the camera no, 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 no. so i'm on my knees but i'm going to slide in and show you guys just how low this is oh that is low okay but once you're in it's quite comfortable yeah Oh, there's plenty of headroom. Like your eyes are actually lower than the, see the red light, green light, but uh, the so it dumpster... would be hard. It would be hard with the signals because you can't see it. I mean, the post. Right, because that visor is halfway down across the windshield. Okay. Now, what have we done here? We've got a little grenade here. Yeah. Well, well, this is my, you know, air pumps, and then the other switch there. I have a little bit of air conditioning going on. I put a, a radiator fan in the back wall 
to uh, cool it down. And that pulls air through the windows and out the back when I'm going down the road. And that was kind of handy today. We did the, the uh, boardwalk parade. Yeah. And it got a little warm towards the end and we flipped that on and it cooled it down pretty good. This shifter is from a, like a 27 Ford brake lever. You know where they used to yank the brakes on by hand. Yep. These are farm implements and I had to cut them through the floor. Uh, they're only like an inch and a quarter off the ground. Uh, so that you know a tall guy can have his eyes centered with the windshield and what was the purpose behind your build uh, I'm a farmer so everything on it is like I don't know if you saw the the uh, handle in the back that's horsehair and there's a cattle brand from Wyoming this is cattle uh, the backrests and they're adjustable for tall people for short people <laughs> no budget <laughs> Well, farm, farm bill. It's awesome. Can we turn it on and see oh, yeah. the bags in action? Yep, let me turn Let's it on. That. I'm gonna do I might think I'm gonna step outside. Oh, you can hit it. You can hit it from right there. Uh, we'll just... Yeah, but I wanna see it get up. So yeah, you just hold it. Yeah, that's the best footage. Hold on. I had these in to keep the door open. You know, I bet you lot at home wouldn't be doing this with your street rods. I know I won't be doing it with my C10, but it looks good and the crowd and myself love it. Okay. Awesome stuff. Thank, Thank you. you. There you go. <laughs> the neighbors. Yeah, that's it for me for now and we'll catch you next time. In a 69 Chevy, car number 2610. <laughs> he is the winning Camaro everybody. Next we have car number 2867, a 79 Chevy. Car number 2867. A little bit of 118, Next we have car number 101, a 79 Chevy. Car number 101. Next we have car number 1236, a 68 Ford. Car number one, two, three, six. Congratulations. Next we have car number 1157, a 64 Chevy. Car number 1157. Next. It's all good. <laughs> Next we have car number 1714, a 69 Chevy. Car number 1714. Overall winner of the night, we have car number 1557, a 48 Cadillac.
Car number 1557. Congratulations. Congratulations to all the winners. We want to thank everybody for coming out and sticking around, even with the rain and the clouds. We appreciate it. Everybody drive safe on your way home. We'll see you in October. Best sex ever in the 55. It was a bench seat. You all don't know what bench seats are. <laughs> well, you heard it. <laughs>